welcome to Alone in the Dark part four. This is part four. I think I'm wearing the same outfit that I did in part two. So don't be confused. This is part four. Um, hello, thank you. If you're watching on YouTube, please feel free to press for press forward to the gameplay because I'm gonna tell chat a recap. I must said tell chat a good night story. I'm gonna tell chat a recap of what happened. Feel free to fast forward or do whatever you wanna do if you're watching on demand. Thanks for being here. If you're not watching on demand, hi live chat. It's so good to see you. Thank you for arriving. You are not able to fast forward through my blabbing. <laughs> So we're going to be um, blabbing a little bit before we can start the game. Um, hi, Minimon. Hi. Uh, the game got a patch. We just we literally just downloaded a patch, uh, like twenty six gig patch for this game. They said that this patch includes um, a uh, uh, some patchings, <laughs> a lot of patches. Uh, they said that it has. Um, they have tweaked the loading or streaming room, streaming scenes. What they, what was it called? So hopefully we won't get any stutters when we go through doors anymore. So that would be exciting. Um, hopefully that will work. I wanted to hear the good night story. Skulle, you, you're gonna get the good night story. It's gonna be the game. It's about being alone in the dark. That's a good night story. Um, it might be a horror story but you know sometimes you gotta have some some of that too that's a dlc site patch yeah right huge but uh, i'm glad because that means that they've been working on fixing all those things that uh, the little bugs that we have been running into we've had a couple it's nice good, good to see that they are fixing things fast um Oh, just laying awake staring at the ceiling in terror. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> You're welcome, my cutie. Um Oh, also we have a new camera if you notice anything different. Hey. Elgato sent us a new camera. Thanks, Elgato. <laughs> uh, so we have a brand new uh, webcam. If you think I look slightly different, uh, and crispier and nicer. That's why. Um looking sharp. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> So, Alone in the Dark, welcome in. If anybody has been uh, not here for any of the other uh, streams we've done, a uh, quick brief uh, recap of the game. Uh, we're playing as this person, this girl called Emily Hartward. This is taking place in Louisiana in the 1930s. Uh, we are currently at some kind of um, hospital, mental hospital or uh, therapy treatment house, resort. I'm not sure what to call it because it's like a villa. Um, Actually, we went to the basement where they had like these rooms. Um, anyway, uh, where in this place our uncle is staying, and we're trying to find our uncle because he is uh, apparently suffering from the family curse, as they call it, uh, some dark shadow that has been following him around. And we are like, oh no, we don't want this to happen to us. So let's go investigate and see if there is some way we can make sure that we don't have family curse in the future. Um, maybe care facility is a good word. Yeah, care facility. So we have gone here together with uh, David Harbour, Mr. Barn Carnaby, Carnaby, Carnegie, Car Chili con Carnaby. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. I'm struggling a lot. Um, we have been uh, separated, however, or not separated. We're just like exploring on our own in this house, looking for my uncle, uh, who is gone. Nobody knows where he's at. He's just gone. We keep finding pieces of he, him. We found him. And we keep traveling through time and space. I don't know if we're zoning out and we're suddenly in a different area. Like, for example, right now, when we left off yesterday, we're aboard a ship that has been stranded. And you can see it's actually very gorgeous. It's like overgrown with things. Um, but that's obviously not inside the care facility that we were hanging out in. So... It's definitely something that we are, um, uh, we're, we're uh, yeah, we're, we're, we keep on getting uh, tossed around from different places and um, I don't really know what's going on. We met a girl who uh, we thought were nice to us. She uh, stabbed us with a syringe. We still don't know 
where what was in that syringe and what happened. So we have yet to find that out. Um, and that's about it, yeah? We're trying to get to the bottom with like this dark presence that has been following our uncle. And we keep finding like trace of um, where he first met this dark presence. And like, it's some weird pharaoh looking creature with like the hat and the mask on. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Um, hey, Safo. Uh, I guess we both have a nose. Yeah. Yeah, I see the football player. Yeah, I mean, sure. We both have uh, two eyes, eyebrows, a mouth. Oh, I guess I can see it. Oh. Um. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. This is where we left off last night. Chapter 4, A Plus for Hiding. A Plus for Hiding. Uh, we're aboard a ship. <laughs> we're aboard a ship and... Um, we have been fighting head crabs. <gasps> Smooth? Hmm. Hmm. It already feels like it, there is improve. They put those bullets there when they patched the game. So we saved the game after we had explored here. Uh oh, a little bit of lag. What? Ted, did they patch it and add more bullets? Oh, Unseat, welcome in! Free loot! That's cool. Um, I will not say no to some loot. One lot of there, okay. Healing there, that's good. We don't have any healing. Did the path change difficulty? It might not have, but maybe, maybe change the, maybe change, you know, how uh, I keep opening drawers and like they're empty. Maybe they've made stuff just appear. Ah! So these are things, it's like little head crabs or whatever. This is the first time we're meeting these enemies. Oh, thank you! Ehrlich! They made auto reload now. Because it used to be that when you shoot and you're out of ammo, you, it just goes chick chick and, and it sounds like you are reloading, but you actually did not reload and you need to manually press the reload button. But now it actually does reload. So that's something they must have changed. I don't know, they didn't say it in this patch notes either, maybe? But that didn't happen before. Because I kept on shooting. And then like she did like a chk chk with her gun. And then I started continuing shooting. Only to realize, oh, it, it didn't reload. It just made like a gun sound. And sounded as if I reloaded, but I didn't because I didn't press the reload button. So it seems like it's uh, that's something they have patched as well. It's cool when they patched games while we are mid playing them because we can notice the upgrades immediately did that make a plop sound at all i don't have any it didn't school to you well three and a half years it is as always i passed by saying hi and probably going to sleep posted in bad vibes the reason there is this probability wish you guys a great stream with our incredible hecky hecky hug Dennis, thank you so much for the 42 months of being subscribed. Thank you! Is that a new badge? 42? Three and a half years? No, 48. 42. That should be a new badge! 
Uh, Dennis, thank you so much for supporting the stream. Thank you. And I hope you managed to get some sleep. Um, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you can manage to get some sleep. Also, um, that the venting in the in the Discord in the Bad Vibes channel has... Can, can, sometimes it makes things... Uh, you getting things uh, out of your system, writing thing, writing off, right? Right, so called, just uh, gets to write it out. Uh, things. Um, hopefully, it will make you uh, able to to get some rest tonight. Dennis, take care. Thank you so much. That takes Christine the alert. Yeah, there. They. I don't know how to fix that earlier, but it's been happening for a while. Um. Also, score. Uh, Sa Saima. Sorry, you were the one who did the hydrate. I don't know why it didn't plop. Score. School, school. Whoopies, hi also. Hmm. Good tactic. Until. Until. Oh, that was a response to someone. Oops. Uh, we can still amaze when you are finished. Who is trying to order beer in Swedish? Is Do you say en öl or et öl? But I find a loophole. For... <laughs> Ha ha ha! So bitter. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Good tactic. Um, also, I heard a sound that I didn't realize what it was. Now I see what it was. I flipped over my stream deck. I was gonna do the bottom. This game is super pretty, isn't it? The scenery is so good in this game. Oh, I stood there for so long and there was nothing in there. Um, I think I think this game has it's looking great. Like it really looks really good. But this scene in particular, like being on this ship, gorgeous. I love this. Can you believe this is a horror game? Can you believe this is a horror game? It is so pretty. It's like cozy. Like I would like to be here. You know? Horribly beautiful. No, oh, beautifully horrible. Nay, be Oh. An axe. And this yent. It did they have toilets? Did they have toilets? Was toilet invented back in the days? Look from the other side. This is great. Our task right now is to um, apparently start the boat again. Good. Oh no, no, I want that thing. Also reload. Is it just me or does it look even better now? Or maybe it's just the scene itself? Um, I don't know. I mean, it could be that... No oh, box of axes. Um, it could be that they patched it. And so that it looks better now. I feel like it runs better. Right? We I used to have some laggies. Look how much I can run around now without any legs. Running really well for me. Much smoother. Okay, looks like we can go down there. Let's go make sure that we have checked the rest of the boat first. The blue boxes here are trunks. Like the ones we read about yesterday. Blue boxes here are trunks. Oh, trunks! You, you know, once again, I was like, what do you mean, shorts? Oh! This is so silly. I swear this loot wasn't here before. Yeah, look at us go through building, go through doors, and it's not in lag. You've imp improved that. Nice! This is really nice! 
But being a new Elgato webcam, what makes you look better? <laughs> makes makes everything look better. That is true. That is true. Hashtag no, not hashtag sponsor. Just hashtag give. Uh, Add hashtag gifted, I guess. But uh, Karen, where are you? also hashtag very excited. This is so cool. Broken compass, a leg in Oh no. <gasps> oh, we got new g g info. Hashtag Elgato. Uh oh. Baka Bones, this one. Hi, Vera, welcome in. Yeah, no Cthulhu yet. Um, But welcome in. Thanks for joining. Mickey likes shipwrecks. I do like shipwrecks. Well, no, that sounds weird. Like, it's interesting. They they are beautiful when they lay like this. I obviously don't... It's obviously not good when shipwrecking happens. Oh, no. They've done something weird with the list. You see, I scroll down to the bottom of the list. And it goes up to the top, but not the top one. It, like, puts me there. Did you see that? I scroll up from the top... And we end up in the middle here. Hmm. Okay, that must have been a little oopsie that happened with the update. Oh well. Uh, slowly but steady. Tweaking everything. Vagabonds, let's listen to this one. Bonus text. There are many ways to cross a threshold. The easiest one is being invited. A door swung open, leading you inside. Huh? Another is sleep, hypnosis, or even sudden fright. There are those who fold spaces that challenge Mobius, or jump through angles that defy Mobius. If you learn to properly use your talisman, you could go anywhere. You wouldn't even need to rely on the fluttering wings of the shrieking Biakis. Biakis? The list is haunted. Oi. What? What is that? Oh no. There's cocoons. There is cocoons. This is not gonna be a good time. Bullets. Wait, is this all we could do down here? There looks to be other things over there, but maybe I need to go from... <gasps> I need to go with the boat maybe in there. Okay. But that then for now. Look how good it's going. How, how smooth the game is running. <clears throat> what an upgrade today's stream is, eh? New crisp camera. And. Uh, good night. I hope you feel bad. Patched, freshly patched the game. Sabuto! I've got to sleep been up like 20 hours. Oh no, I hope you get some rest, Sabuto. A terrible pulse call, so maybe we catch it this weekend if you wanna come by and hang out somewhere. Thank you, thank you, and good night. Nice meeting you. This guy is still laying on the table. New crisp patch, yeah. Will streams be normal over Easter? Yes. All normal streams this weekend. Business as usual. With a little more chocolate. I can, I, 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 I'm running extra much now because I can't get over the fact that it, it's so smooth. I'm able to run so nicely now. I don't know how well it translates on stream as well because, you know, as usual... The foliage sometimes makes uh, the stream less... Sm Crispy. If there is a game that has a lot of environment and stuff on it, um, because of like bitrate limitations to the stream, but it's so good. Looking so good here. Looks as good as 1080p, 60fps can look. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, if I understand things correctly, we're currently looking for pieces of our uncle. So, no, we're looking for, like, clues where he's at and how we're gonna get him out of this 
dream world that we keep on ending up in and we have only met him inside this dream world um and he's like it's not safe here you shouldn't have come after me i'm taking one for the team i'm sacrificing myself to the to the devil man in order to save the rest of our family line or something like that but we're like no you don't have to do that the okay. winch seems to be powered by electricity maybe i can find a way to turn it on wait electricity but i could just go down yeah so like our our he's not shot in pieces That would be my new excuse for my, my boss finds me napping. I was in the dream world looking for my uncle. I think that's a quite good excuse. I mean, it's not a good excuse. It's like a reason. No, no, no. Let me out. <laughs> when the doors start closing and you can't go through. Powered by electricity. Ow. break this i just need something to hit it with oh this was breakable it gave a clue yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hard work climbing up nay down and then up yeah. At least you completely done with the game. Toyu, you, you also finished both characters? Yeah. Yep, okay, awesome. It's great when people have finished the game already that we are playing on the stream. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, it's just good to have I can ask questions if needed, you know. Oh, are we here now? Empty gas can. Oh. That could come in handy, I guess. There. I think it just needs fuel to run. You? Go past up here. He needs to grams our grid. <laughs> I, get, I get it. I get it. Good night, Shelly. Thanks for hanging out. You did the gas can. Good night. I hope you feel bad. Good night. I hope you feel good. <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> Hole. Locker with nothing in it. Okay, maybe that's just supposed to be like that. It's making you spend a lot of time like going around looking for things though. Bloop, 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 bloop. Is the sound levels okay now? Also, I'm sorry, I forgot to put up the yesterday's mod on YouTube. I'll do it. I pull. It, I'll export it tonight, so it will be posted tomorrow. Blub blub blub. We're on the. We're on the ocean chat. We're going. They might have stuff in there on the lower difficulties. That is true. Tomorrow's part will be posted tomorrow, and then this part will be posted probably on Saturday or... Nay, probably Sunday. Ah! Ah! So many! Are you just crawling to the chimney? Ah! Wait! 
it. Oh no, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Hmm. I hear more. Why do I have to be so slow when I'm holding this thing? Okay, that guy's dead. I wish it was a little easier to... To have throwables. Why? You are on fire! Why you don't burn roasty? Running through here. Shortcut! Shortcut! I hear him. This girl... This is fine! Wait... <laughs> Toyu, what is that emote? Oh no, there's way too many. Okay, let's use the shotgun since they stabilized it. Did they stabilize it to make it better or worse? I do wonder. Trans, I hope you're good. Thanks for coming by. So many of them. Is there not a throwable here, Molotov? What? What? Why it no burn? Oh. At least there's nice music we can listen to. Did you just jump down? Why are they not burning anymore? And then just... Oh, it's one of cuckoos? I didn't even know. Oh my gosh, ouch. Can he get on fire by walking there? Yeah. Ah! Why there are so many? What is that guy doing up there? <laughs> He's cheating! Maybe I should not waste my bullets and I should just go down. Are they gonna come after me maybe? I forgot I have a ratata. Oh, and there was another monoto over there. Is this music so trippy? that guy up there <laughs> he doesn't seem to be attacking so oh no oh no there's more oh no it's the irritably kind of music why is that so scary does anyone know why like circus music feels so scary there's something about like with the chords you know they're not in they're, it's not happy chords. They're a bit scary chords. Hey, leather suit, what's up? These clowns can be there. No, no, no. There's something about the music itself. Like the sound of the music chords. Yeah, the key. There's something about that. They deliberately played them out of tune so it sounds off. But why would they do that if they're supposed to be like making the children's happy? Wow, the Tommy gun is <gasps> good! I've already ran out of bullets though. Dissonance, yeah, there is something like that. That's a good, uh, good, good word. You roaches! I've never seen a roach in my life. 
Yeah, I mean in real life. But it feels like they would be scary to see. Because they're so... Crawly. Yeah, luckily I guess. But we don't have them that much. I'm sure there are some. Let's stop wasting time with lies and metaphors. No, but still both just storm it. Wait, I wasn't done! I wasn't done! Why are you running? I'm... No, I wanted to explore! Huh? Uncle! Are you on the internet? Yeah. No. Stop! Locked! Chad, they didn't get to loot that room! I'm the catalyst. I had to die to make the story happen. What are you referring to, Jeremy? Might have been collectibles there. Thirty years ago, Frederick needed me to die. Jeremy! You're not making any sense, Jeremy. Come back. Find your focus. Uncle? I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. I escaped my doom. Destiny. Again, find your focus. Cutscene bullets Jeremy. take one shot. Oh, everything is wrong. Nothing is in place. Hey, listen to me. We're gonna drown. Calm down, Miss Hartwood. You're not in any danger. But, Jeremy, he, he was here, wasn't he? Miss Hartwood, I am beginning to suspect your family curse is catching up with you. Have you ever talked to a doctor about your condition? No. No, I, I was just confused. I thought oh. I saw him for a moment. I'm fine. I'll let you be. He's super magnastic. Miss, Welcome in. I want you to know I'm here to help. If you need me. Uh, question, did I miss a lot of loot there? Shoot, the auto saves just auto saved. Did I miss a lot of loot over there? I didn't get to explore. Maybe there was a collectible. We will never know, chat. Usually this game has not moved on when I accidentally interact with something. Uh, but because I usually do that thing that I go explore a room before I like interact with the main I I object. Now we got screwed. Oh well. We have a loser. We we will know where the one missing item was probably located then. <laughs> okay, so this is what happens. We just uh, like we kind of zone out apparently because all along we were inside of here. Which is super strange. Um, uh, apparently we were just in here, uh, but we thought we were on a ship. And um, there is also a bit of an issue with um, eighty-two less than three. Scott, thank you so much for the eighty-two. Oh my gosh! Wait, when was the thing? When was the? When was the new badge? Shoot. 82? Oh, it's okay. You have a first badge, so you won't... That won't matter. 84. Oh, I have two months to make a brand new popcorn. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. Thank you so much, Scott, for coming by. Thank you for sharing your 82 more. Thank you for... Thank you for still being subbed after all this time. Thank you. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're doing good. In time for summer yeah exactly the summer popcorn this is the summer popcorn badge um i don't know what we're gonna do actually hi hi i hope everyone is having a boring friday so the witches won't take you to blue Gula. is that what happens if you have fun Even it's only two months away. Stop it, Rameke. Stop it. Okay, this guy is gone. He left. He's shady. He's like the cult leader, right? They have a cult here. 
Maybe that's why they injected us with something, because they're about to have a cult sacrifice. It's so shady, I know, right? Uh oh. A bit of lag? Um, it still says we haven't looted something in there. I don't understand what. A ghostly voice sounding like Jeremy called out for help. Emily couldn't quite understand where the voice was coming from. It somehow seemed to be a part of the place itself. Also, he's Googlund. All she could make out was that Jeremy was stuck and needed her to get the steamboat running. Okay, we already did the, got the steamboat running, but we do need to go to the empty room. And Ruth's room still have a puzzle in it. Zerk says hello, welcome! This still has a camera here that we could maybe do something with later on. Not right now. Maybe this is unlocked now, where the scary man was. Ugh. I thought it was a scary man. It was just a chair. Hello? Another camera. This... This is my room. It is? I belong here. What? Ashes of indigo. <gasps> indigo, it's you? Unbreakable cults. Unspeakable cults. Found a new set. Der Seto stands on a breeding ground for the grotesque. A temple devoted to rebellious growth. The most ugly and cancerous side of nature. You may be able to shield your psyche for a while. But rest assured your soul will come to pray to that hideous god in time. That yeah. is the story of every man and woman who gather around that ancient arbor. They all croak, bark, and bleat because their own bodies are afraid and they wish to repel the evil those words conjure. Oh. Ia! 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 Blasphemous name. They gossip in hush whispers Ia. the name of their seto, Astarte, and the black goat of the woods. Ooh. Okay. Oop. I have a lot of three out of threes. I recognize this view. We do? I don't know the combination. Wait. Maybe I maybe do. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ah, woo! Hi! Thanks for coming by. Um, let's try the same one as we did before. Which one was that? The one that was a date this one nine one three nine one three uh nine one Eight. <laughs> Listen, I can't help it, Erlish. I'm just a professional. I'm just a professional. Uh, literal light bulb moment. Hello, this is very unfortunate though, because I don't know actually if that was 918. How do we know that? Used in photography to create artificial light. Okay. Like, how do I know? <laughs> what? How do I know what the real combination was? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. To Emily. Darling, I finally found that photograph from my time Darling. in France during the war. I don't expect this to be your fiancé, but it did make me think of him. What an incredible man he must have been. You were lucky in a way. He could have been a nobody and died falling into the Mississippi. Instead, he volunteered to travel across the world to fight for people in despair, dying with honor like Achilles at Troy. I am jealous of you. Or maybe him. It's all incredibly romantic. That's what I wanted to say. 
Please feel free to use my camera if you want to. It might cheer you up. It might bring him closer to you. Even if just in memory. Ruth. One year, Hakio. Wow! He's new guard! One year? Twelve months? Just like that. Just like that. Twelve months have surpassed. Thank you so much for an entire year of being subscribed. Happy anniversary! You have a golden popcorn next to your username. I hope you like it. Thanks for the one year of support to the stream. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, welcome in. We're playing Alone in the Dark. Also, excuse me, but like... Darling. Ruth seems to know us here. Is that why we... She was talking to us like that before? When we met her in like... Episode 1 or 2 or whenever? How Maybe? How long have I been here? Staga, welcome in! And Spati, hello! Wait, does she mean that we have a room? That we have a stay here? Or is this like an old... Is this an old... Place that we know from before? When I get back... I'll wait here. I did this. Alone in the dark. I wrote that. Let's do us part. Listen to me. When I get back, 1XXX. Oh my gosh, is it in the letter? When I get back, not the letter, in the ring. 1918. And I accidentally put in nine, one, three. <laughs> okay, it was. I got lucky. I got. I got the right things. So that was uh, why. Accidentally in the school. Here you go. One cat game later in spin a year. Yeah. Just in the yard. Thanks for coming in. Hello and hello. It's the name of the game! Yeah, they said it! Flash bulb. Why is that? We're closing? Group. Oh, are we taking a picture of the door? We're not taking a picture of... I thought we took a picture outdoors. Or of this lamp. Stray was a year ago? Yeah. Time flies. No, Stray was like two years ago. Flashbang. Is this how you travel, Ruth? The heck? Ruth travels through time and space with a camera? Germans. Might move in the Jokmok this autumn if I get into the Doji school I apply to. <gasps> wow! Christine fingers crossed! Hello? You need to e e e e again? <laughs> okay. No, this is in the past. Didn't our I'll find you, John? Our fiance went left. Nineteen. What did he say? Our fiance left to go 1918. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What was that? <gasps> no. Tuna is up there. Maybe. Or could it perhaps be more head crabs? Oh, 
It's medicine. Can I not pick it up? Wasn't there a major pandemic in 1918? I don't know. No doubt, you must be mixing it up with 2020. <laughs> I heard somebody got the bubonic plague last month. <laughs> Good. Not again. But they were fine, or they got treatment. It was a Spanish flu. Headcrabs, yeah, we're acting half life. Um. Wait, did they even reference it? I didn't realize it here. Yeah, great influenza epidemic. A common misnomer Spanish flu. Yeah, it wasn't even from Spain. But like, Spain was the first one to recognize it or something? Hi, Hila! <laughs> what are you? You calling me a rascal? Excuse? Oh, wait, no, you're greeting chat. Sorry, I misunderstood. Obviously, you were greeting chat. They are the rascals in here. Chat, you're being addressed in chat. <laughs> Wait, is that the bird of virus, Michael? No. Which one? The bird flu. No, the swine flu virus. Maybe? I had the swine flu. It was not great. My flu was also different. Okay. You haven't even been that rascally. <laughs> we need to step it up. You are always little rascals. Uh, I don't feel safe walking underneath here, but I'm gonna do so anyway. And maybe go very fast. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Did it. Successful. Being rascals. What? Where am I supposed to go? Where is the loot? I don't want to accidentally progress. Like I just did. Thank you for the 60 beats. Shikori. Wish you my What the heck? Oh, it's in a nap. Wee! Wee! Ah! I'm gonna go the other way. I'm going the other way. That was a sign for me to get out of here. I'm skidaling. I'm skidaling. Yeah, that fast. Get that thing all the way around. John! It's a leader in the yo, thank you so much. Thank you for the beats. I think we went the. Yeah, <laughs> yeah better run even faster. It seems like we went to the right direction. First time we tried. Thank you so much, Treasure Corey. Thank you everybody for the beats. <laughs> Are you all skidaddling? Hello? Bunk bits. Everyone skidaddling? Oh my gosh, is there a hype train? Yon! They all look the same. <laughs> Nobody wants to get on this train. No tickets. Just running away from it. I'm skidaddling. But the high train takes was in game for a second. Yeah, there's like a little train blowing up. Hey, pizza! Welcome in! Hello! Thank you for joining us tonight. Welcome and welcome. Is the. Is the overlay messing up now with the pin message? Yo! 
on. Hi Rhino, I do not think so, no. This game feels really good. It's hidden behind the pit. Oh, the hype train? You can unpin it for now if you want to. Then. And then we just pause it again. Um Rhino, um I think this is this is honestly really good. I think I think I've had a lot of fun playing this. Um like I I feel like I feel like it's been definitely having all of the elements that like Resident Evil, um early survival horror games stuff. I I really honestly I think this is good. I'm having a great time with it. I'm like I'm not sure how long it is because it feels like it's a little long. Hi, Shucky. I feel like it's a little long, maybe, but getting closer to them three digits no. every month. Hecky pop. I feel like people have said it's short. Press <gasps> white to sneak. Oh, oh God, God, I, I thought I was done with you. What do you mean you? With who? Oh my gosh, it's an earwig. So, yeah, needs a little more stabilizing. I think that's about it. Other than that, I feel really good. I am enjoying it a lot. Uh, Doho, thank you so much for the give the give the eighty two months. Oh no! Two more months and I gotta get Doho on your badge. John, 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 Vatican City, Vatican City, Vatican City. Vatican City. Elish. Bus. Elish. He heard you. He heard you. Thank you for doing that bit. Thank you, Doho, also for being some of the tier three. Oh, he's coming back. Back again. Show. <laughs> no, no, I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. Is this once a was this once a person? I have confusions. Like a licker. Shh. I don't think he's friend. But I do think everyone is hungry again. Hi, it's the choo choo! I'm so slow when I'm walking like this. I gotta wait one more round. Choo choo! I think it's definitely a friend. Yeah, it looks friendly. Yeah, Legasus. Definitely. Got a little, little extra arms on his back. This is the first time I'm being sneaky in this game. You think he's hungry? Oh no, that person got squished. Did I just hear a second one? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's up there. Okay. What? Did something just fall from the top? How can I not crawl out of here? It looks like I can be able to climb on these things on the side. Is he coming here? to doctor school 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 and school and we are out there's still people up here i think
Is it like as soon as I... Whoa! It's one of those. Wait a minute. It looks different. Does it? No, it looks the same. I forgot to heist. No! Radioactive! It's okay. Maybe you would have lost. Maybe it's for the better. Yay! Kalman! Thank you so much for gifting three subs! Thank you! For... Uh, high training it up. I'm missing level 3. But also uh, spreading some good vibes to people in chat who now have access to our emotes. Thank you so much! No ATL and Redemption? Mm, uh, no, I think we just uh, paused it for this game. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be for the whole game playthrough, but I think it's been okay to have it that way. <gasps> no! I didn't know he would wake up. Can I shoot him in the stomach? I did not know he was gonna wake up. Why he's so fasty? Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna run over here. I'm running. What is that? Hello? What is going on? What is going on? Hey, why he sound like dog? Will you go to the right there? Left. You go left. I go right. I go left. You go right. <laughs> run! No, 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 no. Ibiza, I can't run. Yay! Because it might be troublesome. <laughs> Okay, this is a shortcut I can destroy, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna hear this. Kalman, thank you for gifting us to Ibiza! To the trench. Thank you so much. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. Kalman, thank you. Ibiza, enjoy the emote again. Welcome back to being subscribed to the channel. Was arrows. Enjoy popcorn and good vibes. Bwah. Hello? L look around the corners. The trench. Barracks medical. Okay, there's not much here. It seems like somebody might be fighting upstairs. Yeah, you are right. You're, you will. Maybe perhaps people are. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd be saying you can't escape. You can't escape. <laughs> it's just get in here, get in here, get subscribed, have emotes right now. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I need to sneak anymore, but I'm gonna sneak. This can I have healings? Potions? Can I have potions? Is there nothing in here? No. Is that Yon? Yeah, you will. Really, Ibiza got stuck in auto mode. <laughs> um, it's uh, being a little bit uh, cautious. The auto mod feature has been extra on edge. Oh no, airplane! What? Why so many scaries? Am I sneaking well enough? It's always funny to open up mod view when you haven't been here just to see, just to see weird things the other mods have to approve. 
Yes. Um, it will be uh, a good time to come uh, look into there for the other mods. Uh, Teresa, come on, thank you for gifting for I can't believe the hype train is still going. Thank you so much for gifting four subs into the chat. Four subs to finish level four. Thank you so much. Just three love the cheese. Oh. Um, this is comfy game to watch in bed. <laughs> Katya, sweet dreams. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, never mind. He's going around. Ever since the Australian dinosaur automod has been <laughs> high alert. Oh yeah, when Automod somehow thought that Australian dinosaur was something really offensive. How dare you say Australian dinosaur? Oh no. This is not good. Wait, are we supposed to go there? You might be hearing this. Is this where I came from? No. Is that where I came from? <laughs> you will. Yes. <laughs> Double check what's on the other side of here. Whoa, okay. It's uh, some, yeah, crawly boy. We're very, very, we, when we sneak, we really sneak slow, slow. Demogorgon, yeah, it's Demogorgon. Also, it's interesting that we can go it, to this place and we're like, this is. A, Memories, but it's memories over like our husband. We weren't even here. Is our husband somehow involved in in what's happening? So slow. Can I go down here? I guess we are. Oh, I, yeah, I know, I know our husband died or something, but it's so weird that this is all here. Like, he's, he's, he's mentioned so often. I'm not sure. Phew, what he has to do with everything? <laughs> From what? Run! Run! I don't know what we're running for, but apparently we gotta run! Oh no! Oh no! It was scripted. Oh, it was scripted. The door was locked. I'm not sure if I was supposed to go out there. Is this my husband? What is it? It looks like those bats that have like a snot. No, not a snot. A snout. Right? Like one of those. Shaggy, welcome in. Hi. Doesn't it look like a bat? You know which bats I mean? Yeah, the yeah. vampire bats. Hmm. Also, what has happened? Is, are we past in time? Oi, oi, oi. Time has passed. 
If that's your husband, then we know for sure that you married him. Maybe we were into bats. Jan! No! John. Oh, John. Oh, no. What's the matter? I can't do this. I can't take you dying again. I'm still hurting. Your death was just so... Shameful. Spawned. I've gotten progressively dirtier and dirtier the whole game. Where is this? Where am I? Are we in it artillery again? Uh, Shaggy, thank you so much for watching 50 streams in a row. Yeah, it's it's not the uh, happy times. But it is a horror game, so it makes sense we are We're having a bit of a ha! Oh come on. Hello? Really? Oh it works here. Can I go here? Oh, I need I a key. key. Wait, are you telling me I need to go alone in the dark? My flashlight is starting to stop working. It's starting to stop chat. The water's so icky. Yeah. Ugh. And filled with like whatever that is. Filled with. <laughs> with flying flasks <laughs> um yeah just some happy bottles <laughs> are they doing this keeping around you know how uh, when like salmons go up the rivers <laughs> with that what this is poltergeists sometimes uh Flasks need to, uh, I guess, uh, make sure that they have secured their future of their people as well. Happy Salmons! You had something similar in here? Oh, really? Maybe it will come in the next patch. Uses. Do we really mess around with this? When we're standing in the water? And now we can see things. Nothing spawned. It's before the salmon box. Yeah. <laughs> With the, before the six likes are in likes ask. Six salmons in a salmon box. The game ending doesn't seem to understand the concept of floating. Right. Yeah, they're just bopping around. It's fine. They will uh, figure it out. I'm sure. Um... The Certo Entombment Plans. A. A set of technical drawings that detailing how parts of their Certo will be sealed off. <gasps> the morgue! 
Why? Did he do shady stuff in the basement and they were like, let's bury that part of our history and pretend it never happened. Certo entombed. Ah! Do I need to find more plants? Closing the refuge. Closing the refuge. Refuge. June 17, 1919. It is with a heavy heart that I must declare the DeSeto refuge to be harmful beyond saving. As an emergency hospital, we have over the last two years treated hundreds of patients suffering the so-called Spanish flu. Oh, there we go. Unfortunately, our mortality numbers are unforgivable. While the influenza in itself cool. was often successfully treated, many died of fungal infections and sudden acts of violent madness. What? In order to dismantle the refuge safely, okay. building engineers Masters. will survey what parts of the house are especially contaminated by the peculiar rot discovered by Jean-Baptiste Tambois. Oh, no. The rot is believed to be the main perpetrator in spreading the deadly fungal infection, but also the cause of the incurable madness. Rot? The most afflicted rooms will then be sealed permanently to create a cordon sanitaire. As the dead seem to exacerbate the spreading of the fungal infection, all bodies that can't be cremated by tomorrow will be forever entombed inside Dossetto's sealed section. Why? The refuge was never meant to be permanent, and as the influenza epidemic seems to be in decline, it stands to reason that we shut the facility altogether. Many brave volunteers have helped for very little pay to treat those in need for almost two years. And we are forever in their debt. All surviving patients I, I, will be transferred to other medical facilities around New Orleans <laughs> as soon as possible. At the end of the summer, we should be able to leave DeSeto to recover. Dr. Isaac Herbert. Herbert? I don't think we've heard about this person before. But excuse me, what did they mean? Oh, they're like, oh no, we can't... Uh, the, the ones we can't burn by tomorrow, we're just going to put them and leave them in this part of the house. Like, didn't they just say that this the dead bodies are helping the rot spread? Do they think that somehow leaving the bodies in, uh, the, in like, there to lay, and that's gonna make it better? Like, they're just gonna lay there and make things rotty, more rotty in there, no? Why don't they just, like, burn the bodies a little more the day after? How many bodies can they have? It's just one refuge, right? And it's not a huge place. They have, what? They have like 10 rooms or something. Can't be that much. I know a sealed of place, but it still feels weird. It's like... You you will end up have the, having this cavity next to your house or under your house that is like completely and utterly filled with bad stuff. Like, what if you accidentally have something that crawls into your house after all? Like the rot. Right? It already started spreading up from the basement to the current house. Or just like, I don't know, weird gases sipping through the blanks from the bottom. It just feels like you're sweeping things under the map. Uh, under the mat, right? This was like a classic case of like, oh, <laughs> let's just like put it aside and uh, uh, lock it up and yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. Exactly. Even how bad the flu, 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 flu pandemic was at that time, if dead bodies were spreading further disease, they couldn't, and they couldn't cremate them fast enough. I can understand just shutting them in all in the building and sealing it off. I understand it too, but it doesn't feel like the best resort. Um, it feels better to maybe just like leave them one more day and cremate them one more day after or something. I don't know. We don't talk about the root cellar. Yeah, yeah exactly. The root cellar. All of this? All of this. 33% uh, of the world's population? That's so many. In 1918. That's just 100 years ago. Dang. That's still a better rate, though, than the bubonic plague. Wasn't the, the, bu the bubonic that was, like, half of Europe wiped out? So, I mean, we got a little bit better, I guess. 
This is the remake, yeah, the one that came out a, a week ago. Ready, wrong. Welcome in. Have you played the originals? Um, I think this is really nice. I've been enjoying it a lot. I haven't played the OGs, so I don't have anything to compare to, but... I'm liking it a lot. Oh, mm, yum. A box of biscuits. <laughs> that has laid in the quarantined part of the house. <laughs> Together with the rotted bodies. Mm, mm. I think we can eat them. Yummy. Feeling, feeling a bit piggish? Take a time. The Black Plague's death toll has, is fiercely debated, and many historians are estimating between 25 million and 200 million. That's a range of 5% to 40% of the world's population at the time. Yeah, but that's a world's population. I think it was, wasn't it worst in Europe, where at least, like, almost half of the population died. Something like that. Um, don't think this is the quarantine part. Oh, really? Okay. Well, then we're fine, then. Hardly any mold. Still good, chat. Five second rule. What do we say? Around 60% of Europe, so even more than half of Europeans in the bubonic plague. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, and that is the plague that somebody had last month. They said he got it from his cat. Reseto entombment plants B. Oh! So, uh, that's a good reason to keep cats indoors, I guess, and not outside. <laughs> the bottles look so happy! You can get it from groundhogs? <gasps> really? The groundhogs still have bubonic plague? So, I thought it was eradicated. I thought we had gotten rid of it. But the bubonic plague, I guess, is the, the one, like, as long as you keep good hygiene, you should be able to recover. Like, back in the days, people weren't really good at washing their hands. They, I don't even know they thought, they, they didn't even know the importance of hygiene. It was just like a hundred years ago where somebody was like, hmm, I washed my hands before I did the surgery and the result was much better. I think we should sanitize our hands before we do surgeries. And somebody said that, and he was like, scoff that. They were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> There's no such thing as being hygienic. I can't believe that, that was, there was a time where that was the case. Nobody was washing their hands before the... <laughs> before they were doing the... <laughs> the surgeries. They all ridiculed them for them? Exactly, yeah! How do you know they didn't wash hands? Oh, like, it's documented. Like, the, the, it is it is known that somebody was like, hmm, I think we should wash our hands before surgery because it m made my results better. And people said, that's really ridiculous. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That, that was how things worked back then, apparently. There's certo refu morgue. Okay, surgery. Let's flip them all so they are the right side first. Archive. Oh yeah. Repository. Okay. This might be up here. Oh! Wait a minute. Laboratory. Oh, they show. We're supposed to build what's on there? Org. The, the sheet is on the background. Do you see that? Repository. Quarantine. Oh, yeah. Org. Surgery. There's two morgues. Is the, are they trying to? Is this? Am I supposed to do it? I thought I was supposed to like connect the rooms. No, 
that is the mark. Oh. Okay, What's it that? was. He said, and I thought. What is that, Jan Marcus? <gasps> Our husband. Our husband was treated here. No. He never died. Our husband. Oh, he died here. Probably. Bando. I guess also send the dodo. Yeah, I was there. Tried to teach it how to fly, but. Get us. Two seventeen. Wait, so he came. He came here for treatment. Oh, John. I wrote it down. I didn't know this was working. I didn't know. Oh. I stopped visiting you. Because I couldn't stand the indignity of your awful illness. Indignity? She embarrassed? What? Ashamed of myself. You were ashamed because he was sick? Forgive me. Please, John. Let me go. That's kinda <laughs> not so nice. Yeah, Emily, what the heck? He survived the war, he came here, got the flu, and she was like, oh, this is kind of embarrassing that you had the flu. I'm gonna stop visiting you. He might just have gotten injured in the war, and then he was sent home here. Are we done here? We're like... Is this recovery, really maybe? Ah! Ah! Thanks. The, the bottles are hopping in the background! <laughs> oh no. But hello, if she was ashamed that he got the flu? Or did he get rotted or like anything? Yeah, it doesn't matter. If somebody you love is sick, why would you be ashamed? It's like the least fla flavor feeling. You're ashamed because he's sick? So much for, for through thick and thin. The bad days and the good days. We saw him in an explosion. Maybe he had a traumatic disfiguring injury. Uh, maybe, but he's, he's our husband. Well, he's still the same person inside, right? It's like, kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. I think this sounds tells uh, she's kind of. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. The second thing, guys. Thought I thought we were in it together. The truth, the key item. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. Maybe they went through a lot together. Maybe there is a lot that I don't understand here. But, uh, that doesn't feel very nice. <laughs> Sorry, this, the bottles. <laughs> yeah, but, but how thin are we talking here? Um, I keep getting scared by these bottles. Okay, the, it said find a clue or a... John Marcus died at Decero of the Spanish flu. Emily stopped visiting oh, him because she didn't want to see him waste away. She adopted oh, a lie must just... because it felt better. Emily hated the pathetic man that passed away in Decero. What? But she was very proud of the man she made up. A man who died a martyr in the trenches of France. This must have been the true trauma that the dog man specified in the contract. But why was it Emily's and not Jeremy's? What? Wait, so he wasn't in the war at all? Or like, did he come back from the war and he got sick? See, now it, it says here, literally. That she she hated the pathetic man that passed away from the Spanish flu. 
wasting away. He just, he was. I don't know. I don't know. Could be weakness of character. Yeah, I guess times were different. I just find it hard to grasp that somebody would not like support their loved ones through like bad times, you know. But um, I guess there might be more to it than I do that I don't get. It's like we are a little rude, though. Especially the part about like, oh no, he died of something else. I'm gonna make up that my husband is a hero. So that others will feel jealous? Because Ruth said, oh, I was always jealous of your husband. Or, or jealous of you. Because your husband is a hero or something like that. Hmm. But like, did he even go to the war though? Or d did he d did he even go away? What, or was he here the whole time? And he was just somebody who got the flu here? Yeah, she has been insistent on being called Miss instead of mar her married name. I thought she just didn't want to talk about it, that she was just very sad that he was gone. I don't know. Or to make herself feel better for leaving him, maybe? I don't know. Don't want your last time with someone to be the being sick, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it's heartbreaking to see somebody you care about being in a state of not being, like, feeling good, but, I don't know. Toe tag! <laughs> toe tag! Is this the, oh, is it related to toe merch that I was eating earlier? 2.17. Okay. Dying with dignity! Okay, that's okay. Hmm, alright. Two out of three. Um, but how long ago was that? If he was locked in here, has it been ten years now? The truth. I am so curious. I abandoned him. Own up to your awful past. Yeah, at least, at least we come to terms with it, or like we have. That he, yeah, um, I uh, am curious. I'm curious what the what is gonna be like to play as Bar Barnaby, because like right now everything has been about the uncle and Yon, and I'm so curious what he's gonna be because we are here sorting out this family history. Family history. Surgery. It feels, it feels like it must be something. He's only has his own thing. Like he would totally come visit us in the creepy care facility. I mean, even if it looked like this. <laughs> even if it looks like this, scarily, eerily scary. Yeah. If, uh, if someone I care about is in a place like this, I would go. Oh, it's a completely different story. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it must be. Okay, we can't go in there, but it is uh, pink, sadly. That one is still locked. This one is openable. Okay. Uh, what's her objective? Visit Dr. Gray in his apartment. <gasps> upstairs. We haven't been upstairs. The attic is still pink. Hmm. And Ruth's room is still pink as well. Why? Why does everything keep on getting pink? It doesn't feel good in that itch, in that collectible itch, right? 
I'd rather not go to a creepy care facility to begin with, but since we are here... <laughs> I mean, yeah, to, to, you're right. If we could, like, avoid this place altogether, maybe our loved one could find a better place to... Um... It, it would be nice if they could stay in a place that wasn't so uh, scary. That would be good. Is that? Who's that? What is painting your map? Hello, happy and sad. It's probably Grace. Ragnar! Welcome in! Thanks so much for subbing 22 months. Wow! Wait, thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome in. Almost two years of. It's been almost two years since we posted our first TikTok chat. <gasps> what? I can't believe it. Or since we started our TikTok. Oh. What can I I guess we take a trip past... Oi, oi! Okay, this room is still laggy. Yeah, a new TikTok was posted the other day and it qu caused quite the drama. Everyone had something to say about it. Oop. Everyone seemed to have had something to say about it. Why is that? Where are all of the pink rooms locked? Oh no, I need to go back up again. No, I couldn't. Wait, how on earth am I supposed to get there now? Oh, this is the hallway stairs. Almost two years, it's awesome. It's wild. I love that Ragnar will be tied to TikTok. Yeah. Like Ragnar is one of the one of the first people who came from TikTok to Twitch. Because that was like that that was wild. When we started posting on TikTok and suddenly people were like, hey, I came over from TikTok. It was like What? <laughs> People saw our TikTok and they decided to come to the live stream? And now it happens pretty often that people are like... Yeah, I come from TikTok, uh, I come from TikTok. Yeah, doesn't it look inviting, Imidiota? Doesn't it make you feel like, yeah, this is a place I would like to stay, eh? Oh look, they have even mooses on the wall here. Wait, that's just the horn of a moose. Okay. They come from Imgur? That is true. They have also come from Imgur. Surprisingly many <laughs> came from Imgur. And then also um, YouTube after the at, after the Game Awards reaction video. We had a lot of people who were like, hey, I came from YouTube. Hey, I came from YouTube so cool okay somebody's opening doors for us i'm gonna i cannot save okay I'm g i was gonna say i'm gonna save the game uh. can i say now i can't say now private no entry <laughs> that sign can't stop me because i can't read <laughs> lock the door will you i'd rather not run into fear dr gray if i can help it what? This feels strange. Why are you oh, here? Very strange. Ah! Oh my gosh! Resident Evil! Fixed camera angle! Listen to her for some. Yeah, the, the saxophone players throughout this game has been great. I do wonder if when we play as him, is she gonna walk around? Like sometimes we meet her and she's like so strange, you know? There's a book missing. Oh, a book missing. Is this one? False book. It's a hollow book. What's up, El Capitan? Thanks for coming in. Also, Crystal, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming over. Thank you and welcome. Toy Talisman, the Legniape. Oh. Now, what's this? Yeah, what is this? Can we talk to him? I 
can. Hey, Carnaby. Okay? This place, it's like something from my childhood. It's just a private study of a very peculiar man. I think this is it. I'm properly mad. You should be. Dr. Gray's playing with fire. There's setters of powder keg of loonies all ready to play. You should be mad. <laughs> I think she meant it in a different way. Um so so he is like figuring something out. He's like doing detective. I think she's doing like some other kind of she's having a completely different experience here. She's walking around, she's like figuring out what the heck is going on um, with his family curse and she's traveling through space and time. I presume that he is just having a regular like, he's just doing a regular investigation thing and he's starting to now also, he's like, yeah, you should be angry. There's a, they're going, shady stuff is going on right now. That's how I feel like their different experiences are gonna be here. I'm trying to say I've lost my mind, detective. <laughs> The Heartwood curse is caught up with me. I'm sure you're exaggerating. Try to focus on whatever you've been doing. <laughs> right. Breaking the Dark Man's contract. <laughs> the what? Doesn't no. even matter anymore. Yeah, he's doing all of the detective work on his own. We're just like talking about this little. Yeah, mental mystery versus a physical mystery. Maybe that's uh, how we can describe it. Because there's definitely mysteries going on. Many, many are mysteries. A land party. Okay, I found a secret door. A secret door? Yeah, that's what I said. Looks like it. Careful. Let me go first. Bro, I've been fighting freaking head crabs for like hours. Let me go first. Can I go see what he was doing now? Yeah, I'm the one with the flashlight. He just went in alone in the dark. Hello? Now we're talking. Great job, Emily. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> now we're talking. Suddenly. This has something to do with the numbers for the talisman. Suddenly fixed angles. Suddenly. This is just like... So did the old game have these fixed camera angles throughout the entire game? I presume so, right? It feels like the first person mode is a little... No, third person? It's like a new concept. Yeah, okay. Interesting. So this part is like a little bit flirting with the old version. Hmm. This is where Resident Evil got the idea right. Yeah, that makes sense. First meeting transcript. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. Mm -hmm. I'm here on the behalf of your brother, Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes. You're from the Cerro, no? That's right. I just wanted to ask you a few Mr. questions Neil? to see if there is anything I can do to help you and your family. Okay. I understand you're full of imagination. Yeah, me. You make up a lot of things. I suppose. And you obsess over them, blurring reality and fiction. Sometimes. Do you want to tell me about the Dark Man? No. No, I, I don't. That's all right. Perhaps there is something else you can tell me. Something you know to be made up, but you hold dear. One? John? What? Who's John? No, Juan Luis Jorge. Oh, wait there a moment. John? Here, take a look. Is he... Oh, he is the Juan author. is the one we met in the library. Outside the library. Um, excuse me, did he just say John, who's John, and then Juan? Don't tell me that our husband is completely made up. Juan. John, who's John? Dun 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 question mark Hmm Classic survival horror style with fixed cameras. It really feels like this is how everything looked back in the days, but I guess that was the genre then. 
When Alone in the Dark did it in 1992, it was groundbreaking. Yeah, I bet. And now it's like, ah, this style. What if chat is completely made up? Chat. I wish they had put tank controls in here too. No, I remember when we played Resident Evil 1. And I was happy that they did not have tank controls. You could you could choose to not have them. I'm not made up. Yeah, I I feel real. Right, right, chat. Uh, okay, we met Juan though when we were inside of the right outside the library in that super pretty warm area that looked so nice, and he said. He said that Jeremy made him based on the author or named him after the author. It's a magnificent book. Life changing, even. The real one is long dead, but I like to think of him as my, my friend. Friend? M my most beloved friend. I see. Do you often do this? Fantasize about people you read about? No. No. Well. There is Jacob. Who Jacob? is Jacob? Turn to the last Jacob? page. Oh, it's a newspaper article. The Prisoner of Ice. Eh? Jacob Van Ostart. Is he also your beloved friend? Oh, no, Doctor. Not at all. He is the fire that fights fire. Yes, I think it's clear your overstimulated imagination. Mm. This mania needs to be tempered for you to live a normal life. I know your family calls it the Heartwood Curse, but I want you to know that there is nothing supernatural about your condition. It's all inside your head. Yeah. And with that, I'm John? very qualified to deal Jacob? with Jacob. In time, you will be cured. One and Jeremy, why do everybody start with a yay? Yes, in time, we will exercise all your demons. All the dark men. Yeah! Please, Mr. Hartwood, calm yourself. What happened? Oh, don't you worry your little head about it, Miss Hartwood. Your uncle and I just had our first breakthrough. Jeremy scream alerted his niece. Uh, Smith. Na, 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 na. Yeah, that guy. Is that is that all of these people? Ah, why are they all starting with a yay though? Is are they all made up by Jeremy's mind, including Jon, our husband? Ye Jeremy, Jon, Jacob, Jon, Jacob, Ingelheimer Schmidt. Yemily, <laughs> Yemily, don't make sense. So you school. I think we have a collectible collection that's called Prisoner of Ice. Yeah, I haven't found a single thing here though. Do do, 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 do. Yeah, we're we're safe. I start. Hecky starts with a H. I'm I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm good to go. Uh oh, you we are though. <laughs> Yeki, <laughs> yeah, it's my name. That's not my name. The snake dagger. Oh, we the found snake that one. Dagger in monograph by Yael Klein. Yael. In Ludwig Prinz's book on pagan rituals you, uh, Yael, called before. the Mystery of the Grave. As translated by Nicholas Vahi, there are several references to a sacrificial dagger called the Snake Dagger. The Snake! It has long been thought of as a poor translation of the original text. That it would be more appropriate with Worm Dagger from the <laughs> Latin Vermis Cultrum. Worm Dagger! This sounds a little less intimidating. <laughs> consensus that the original title of Prince's book, The Vermis Mysteris, should literally translate to the mystery of the worm. However, this would take away from Vahi's great effort at translating the underlying meaning of the words and revealing several cultural beliefs. While Prin certainly was using the term worm as a symbol or synecdoche for death and the dead, synecdoche. which is made clear by the contents of the book, 
In the case of the dagger, we shouldn't be too hasty to dismiss his translation. Reading through Vahi's correspondence with his patron, it appears that he had more than just the Latin text at his disposal. Vahi had dug up Prin's living relatives eh? and uncovered several cross-referenced historical texts and an actual snake dagger. Da, da, da. The dagger was dated to the early Middle Kingdom of Egypt and had such a clear shape of a wave that Vahi considered calling it the sinusoidal blade. Knowing the full story, Sinusol? it seems prudent that he chose to translate it as snake and not worm. There are several reasons why this choice of word helps us understand the pagans that Prin's book attempts to describe. The worm dagger. Did the text say snake and the VA worm? No, no, they, they should have just called it the worm dagger, but no, they started to call it the snake dagger instead. But the worm dagger definitely doesn't sound as intimidating as the snake dagger. The symbolic value of the shape becomes more apparent when reading about the use for the dagger. In the passage of possession and exorcism, we find the snake dagger poisons the poisoner within what? the victim and is therefore pacified. Where the literal text would tell us that the worm dagger trumps the demon possessing the victim, it tells us nothing of their reasoning. Only that somehow this dagger wins against the demon, like it had the better hand in poker. We need to stab Vahis the translation demon! translation allows us to follow the underlying logic to the ritual magic that is being performed. Poison the poisoner. Sounds like fighting fire with fire. That to hurt the demon possessing its victim, the priests would have to fight back with a power that is known to the evil they are fighting. This oh. snake dagger is therefore not only a good way to describe its form, but it also helps us understand how it could be thought of as a useful tool for exorcism. exorcism. Finally, it also helps us understand their relationship to lunacy, that it was thought of as something poisoning the mind rather than controlling it. What is also interesting to note is that the possessed are always considered poisoned in their head and not their heart. The snake dagger always went to the eye of the possessed, Whoa. leaving them partially blind, if they had the good luck to survive. But we have to stab Jeremy in his eyeball with a snake dagger? Oh, so now we know then, chat. That's what we gotta do. Not through the heart, but through the eyeball. But he's he, leaving him partially blind if he had the good luck to survive. Yeah, stab it in the eyeball. Okay, now we know how to beat the demon. Can I save now? Oh, I can save. Look, we didn't save at all today, so I would like to... like for us to get the saving you'd rather stab him through the heart no i don't i wouldn't like to actually hello carnaby found anything oh dr gray's in so deep i knew it he's as mad as his patients i mean look at this she who can till the soil of this sick world and begin again the black goat of the woods with a thousand young absolute insanity <laughs> The way that he thinks we are completely aware of everything that he has been going through as well. That he's like, yeah, can you believe this is a cult and this guy is leading it all? I can't believe it. And we have just been on a completely different adventure throughout the entire game so far. <laughs> How often does this game let you save? Pretty often. There is only a couple of times when we haven't, when it's been grayed out, I think. I don't always check, but there's also a lot of autosaves. I have the strangest sensation that this is somehow Jeremy's room. What? No. This is Dr. Gray's private quarters. What? This is Yemery's room? I feel... I want to apologize, Detective, for my elusive behavior tonight. I'm glad you haven't given up on me and my uncle yet. Ah, you got nothing to apologize for. In fact, you've been out of my hair for most of the evening, you're self-reliant, and you've been helping with your own particular brand of investigation. As far as I'm concerned, 
Yeah. Exemplary client. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Edward. Mr. Carnby. Oh. Oops. Called him by his first name. Have we bonded without even hanging out? Do, do, do. The locked closet. We need to find something to plop in there. Yedward. <laughs> Isn't that the lipstick, you guys? From uh, Ireland? I got my lipstick on. Da, ba, da, ti, ba, do. Mirror? What? Oh, I can't, can't believe what? Oh, you didn't see that before. Didn't see that before. What do you mean? We haven't even gone here before. <laughs> Edward Yarnaby. Yeah. What if I? No. Oh wait, it is silly controls. Still. Can't believe we hadn't found that yet. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Oh. I opened the closet, nothing is in there. Let me go answer the phone. Hello? Hello, you're on speaker. Hello? Hello? Oh? Hello? Who's there? Jeremy? Jim, he is with the dark man. You can't save him. Jeremy is with the dark man? Where? Who is he? What, what is the dark man? The Heartwood Curse. He will come for you too. That was Jeremy. On my bike! Thank you for coming in! Hi! Hoi hoi! Uh oh. Investigate the broken clock. Oh gosh. Okay, well. Alright. I guess we're going somewhere. Uh, Barnaby, are you okay to stay here? Because I'm going to uh, go tr travel through dimensions. Is that okay? Also, we opened this closet and literally there's nothing in it. The line clarity is fantastic for the 1920s. Yeah, right? No birds sitting on those... Uh, on those power lines, eh? This is a remake of the 1990s game. Yes, Lesor. This came out last week. I think it's available on both Steam and on PlayStation. Xbox. Call on me. It's koala. Ehrlich, it's koala. Oh my gosh, is that koala? The one and only crazy koala 35? Who has been subscribed for not 35, but 33 months? <laughs> Hi, koala. <laughs> Welcome in. Thanks for using your prime sub in here. Out of all the places on the Twitch, thanks for joining. That one's a classic. I had no idea it was coming out. Yeah! I haven't played the original Lesor, so... Um, I can't give you a fair uh, comparison, but I think this is great. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, it's uh, starring also Yudi Yudi Co Yudi Comber and uh, David Harbour. I almost said Peter Harrison. I don't know why I almost said that. <laughs> David Harbour. Um, to. Uh, Actors you might have seen them around. Still no idea what she, who that is. Yodi? She's been a lot of things. In particular, she's I think she's extra most known for this one thing. But um, yeah, that thing. Um, Killing Eve. Thank you. That one. Most people know her for that. Okay. Now the question is: Am I supposed to use this one? I took a picture of it, because I'm bad at memory. Or should we just use numbers? Hmm... Hi, it's Choo Choo! 
to to do I buy this game? Code like Orgul if you want to. If you think this sounds uh, up your alley, then go ahead. What? Hello, I just noticed something. Is he here? It says printed. Hi, choo -choo. Choo -choo. It says printed 1916. But in the text on the right, it says printed 1921. Either a typo or a sneaky sneak. Literally, I don't know where. Okay. Oh, I saw Maria play the preview copy two days before launch, and that was the first I heard of it. Really came out of nowhere. <gasps> no, it's been announced for a long time. It has been on my list. I added it to my list, like, I don't know, at least more than a year ago. It's been on my list of things that I was going to play. Uh, things are like game, games to keep an eye on because they will come out soon. Because I was like, whoa, David Harbour! I have never played the originals of this game or anything. So for me, it was mostly like, like wow, David Harbour is in a game. I want to play it. <laughs> um, I'm very excited. They, they said one worm at Snake at one point. Oh, they did? Okay. All right. Um, I need three numbers. Should I try all the numbers that I've already tried? Maybe your husband's death number. How about that? We haven't used that for anything yet. Uh, his toe number. Two. Uh, one. One. A little too much bloom on my screen for this. It's on there too. Uh, and seven. It was not our husband's toe number. Good thought. Skull! So need to start! Thank you for coming in! And hi, Shanks! Thanks for joining! Hello, hello, and hi! I'm surprised nobody had heard about it before last week. They really should have advertised. So I had heard it, but there is there seems to be a lot of people who didn't know about this, actually. I know that I have talked about it on stream as well, and I actually talked about it like half a year ago because it was supposed to release. It, it got delayed, I think, maybe more than once. Maybe, but it, it was supposed to... I know that it was supposed to release like last year at some point, I think. Um, they even did this big uh, thing, like Maria went to a haunted mansion. Uh, together with uh, a bunch of other creators, like uh, Miss Mika was there, Annie Fuchsia, um, PewDiePie, it was big, uh, big uh, online gamers who were there and they went and they did this whole uh, video about it as well. Big uh, usernames. Um... So I, I feel like they, they through that they would have gotten a lot of exposure. The famous Swedish guy. Yeah, it's that <laughs> that that uh, the one that who played video games. Um, I thought you were the only Swedish person left. What do you mean left? Where did the rest go? <laughs> what happened to them? What on earth could the be here? Let's say on the objectives. The voice on the phone was somehow familiar. What? Yet so straight. What do you mean? That was the. Who was that? That was Jeremy talking, wasn't it? Hey, Thomas, welcome. Thanks for joining. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, and welcome. The rest of us went on vacation. Oh, right, all right. Uh. Use the talisman with the cloak. What? Moment of clarity. We, we have read these all. Trust me. Anything we haven't read before? Closing the refuge, 1919. 
We need a three. We need three digits. Hmm. Snake dagger. Henry Castle's Zoe trope. I do like the music in this game. It's really neat. June 14, 1930. Patient Jeremy. So, like, before our uncle even went here, our husband was actually here. So there is... Nine, one, three. Let me try all the other numbers we I have written down. Nine, one, three. That we've already used for other things. Nine. Uh, one. Three. That's not it. Uh, two. Five. This is when everybody who's watching the vote will fast forward. But you livers, you're stuck here forever. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Four, five, four. Okay, none of these numbers that we've used before. This one, livers go P, that is true. Yeah, the detective music, right? Isn't it so good? Our husband's. Our character's husband was here before. No, not before having the flu, but he was here when he had the flu. And he got treated. And then he died. And then, like, ten years later, our uncle gets sent here. Hey, Rhino, what's up? This is my first playthrough, yeah. My first playthrough, uh, and we're playing as Emily, as our first character. I didn't even play as, uh, as the other guy yet. Hot pepper dust under my fingernail? Hot pepper dust under your fingernail? How do you get that there? Okay, there's some words there. U. Quasi. Una. Fantasia. Quas do you see that on the bottom of the clock? Quasi. Una. Fantasia. Where do we have that? Anything about that? Wasi? Anybody talking about that anywhere? Yeah, we don't know if the uncle... I, it seems like he lives because he just talked to us on the phone. We're looking for him and he's like... He seems to be gone, but like, he's not here, but he's like on some sort of, in some upside down. Was he? Dark man's contract. We still haven't used those things, the hieroglyphics here. Unless we missed something. Nicely, good eye. Take care of yourself. Uh, Shanks, this is both a mystery detective thing, but also a horror survival. So, a little bit of all of it. Try that already. A lot of numbers here, but not three of them the heck the empty room dagger let's look at that one surely that must have something to do with the clock on the ground or the symbols on the ground right whoop 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 is it just supposed to look like the ground? Am I overthinking it again? 
Is it supposed to look like this? Bah! It was just supposed to look like the one on the ground. With like the little... Uh, the little like indentations. Okay. Oh, easier than I thought. I overthought it. At least we got a refresher on what was in our pockets. This part is really hard to walk on for some reason. Oh, hey, sorry, did I just you open heard this? The telephone ring, right? No, the telephone's cut off. I tried calling the police earlier. What? Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I thought so. It didn't ring. None of Emily's experiences seem to line up with reality anymore. Even when she accomplished something. It seemed absurd. Was this what it was like to be completely consumed by the hardwood curse? Not mind-numbing terror, but a continuous state of confusion breaking you down. Is there something like this could, that could be... Um, um, genetic? Seems like my cat likes dried banana. Oh, yummy! I think dried banana is nice too. Genetic? No, genetic. Like very. Oi, 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 what's happening? Oh, I'm not even with my controller. Whoa. Hey, Mr. Carnby? What? Do you see Nothing, this? Right? That's a closet. That's right, detective. I'll see you later. I have to finish this. You're going inside the closet. <laughs> I know what it looks like, but I can't explain it, much less justify it. All right. You do what you have to do, miss. <laughs> Goodbye, detective. <laughs> He's like, hey, you, you do you. Oh my gosh, are we in Narnia? Oh, it's snow! Oh, this is my favorite favorite thing about snow is how it glitters like this when it's like a cold winter day and you walk outside and the snow just glitters my favorite thing it's so beautiful it's like you have a whole freaking galaxy on the ground amazing okay I wonder, yeah, I wonder what this looks like for him. Are we just standing in the closet? <laughs> We're just standing there? Do we zone out? Frenzy, enter hell? We are in hell? Much colder than I thought it would be. Ice pink. Oh. Hell froze over. Oh, what is that? Flare gun. We are playing Alan Wake chat. Hell really froze over. I don't know if the monsters are all in our head or what's going on. Hold the sweet between handguns. Oh, great. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> hell is in Norway. I'm full of flares. Can I shoot the flare? The Greenland exp. Oh, we are on Greenland expedition. Okay. We found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean after a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment. Jacob van Ostadt was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type Jacob is the one in the end of the book. metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. The site was a remarkable find for any explorer, and we were all enraptured in our search for enlightenment and meaning. The surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. It's 
astonishingly. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon. As we quickly picked up our gear, ready to head back to our camp, Jacob von Ostadt declared that he wanted to stay. Eh? He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour, and we feared for all our safety. Jacob refused, threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone. As the snowfall turned heavier, we left him there on his own. The next day, the weather became worse, and we had to spend hours enforcing our shelter as our tents became increasingly useless. The group had written off Jacob, thinking he must be dead. I had an urge to make one final attempt to save him, so I headed out as darkness fell with a handful of flares uh. and headed toward the coast and up the climb towards the Stellarium. That's when I saw him, transfixed by a burning sky, that celestial lantern. What? Mr. Moon? Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such... Fear and pity. He was crying in agony, for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. I called out to him, and he turned to face me. His vacant stare held me in place like a needle through a butterfly, and he said, You must leave now, Ashton. Go, and never come back. And so I left. But what was in the end of the book then that he did? Is that the end? Is this the end of the book that Jacob talked about? No, I mean Jeremy. Uh, Wolfie, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining. Also, hello, hello. Yeah, we must be in the Norse hell, I guess. Uh, Green with evil. Also, thanks for joining us. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday, Friday Eve. Um. When, when the, we're in the Norse uh, frozen house. Salo of... Oh, I saw the silhouette of this one. On the prisoner of ice, exactly. Remember we looked over there? I said, look, there's a prisoner of ice. We found something for it. Um, I presume we're gonna find them here. Okay, I just wanted to see what happened when I... When I shot one. It seems like it immediately went out. It did nothing, it just... It did a flare for one second. <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight to where the wind is coming from. Surely that nothing bad could happen, right? We'll get there eventually. Oh, there's something there! Hello! Jacob! Jacob! Everything is full. Oh, a lantern! Nice! Thing. This in thanks. Are we lighting our way so we can head back? What? No, apparently not. Maybe I should save. I'm kind of worried that something will crash. Uh. Oh there. Wait, Alan now. Why are we getting so many bullets? This is worrisome. Is that supposed to light up? Oh 
look at the beautiful northern lights. You know, I heard that there was apparently going to be Aurora, Aurora Astralis this week. So people in like Tasmania could see it. What the heck is that? And that usually doesn't happen. What the heck is this? This is like alien. alien items I don't like that we're getting so much ammo this is definitely a preparing for final boss kind of st stock up Panda! thanks for coming in wait were you here earlier or am I missing it, mixing it up with yesterday Your camera looks great. Thanks, Panda. We got sent a brand new camera from Elgato. Thanks, Elgato. The MK2, freshly released. Okay. That, our friend. Hello, uncle. We said Jacob. Jacob or Jon? Jon, Jacob, Yingel and Smith. Tim. I can't aim at him. Who are you? What do you want? Yo. Why? You should not have come. Yeah, hey, we can talk about this. It's too late for that. It's too late. Why does he have. <laughs> Jacob, what have I done? <laughs> And wh why is Jacob having the voice of our uncle? I'm sorry, Jacob. You had this coming. You kind of brought this up on yourself, you know? <gasps> ah, bro! Teleporting. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Love Squirrel! Thanks for coming in! Enjoy the gifted soup! Enjoy the emotes! Good vibes and popcorn all around. Coming out of his face? I think it's blood. Or do you mean like his beard? Yeah. I don't know what that is. He looks looks like little tentacles or what's his name? The Whoa! Um like a squid. Like a Cthulhu. Yeah, no, I was thinking of What's that there? A rock? I was thinking of him Barbarossa What's his name? I guess it, it might just be his rose and beard But it does look like Oh, Molotov No, it's not Molotov ah! Fighting is really hard in this game It's kind of like Tricky to Move around. So yeah, Dr. Soyberg! That's who it is. I don't like that he's screaming. Am I really like shooting him? Do I need to stab him in the eyeball with the I Press the wrong button? Does this remind me of at mountain of Mad at the mountain of madness? What? I can't see what you're saying. Ah. Huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, I clicked the wrong button. I, I was he trying you? to heal, but I want? clicked the wrong button. We can talk about this. Yeah, we, we can talk it out, bro. Kill the Jacob. Oh, it's so bright over there. Is that supposed to be like that? Ah! Oh my gosh, that was a real scare in my heart. Real heart scare. 
just gonna focus on shooting at him then. I kept running around thinking that I could find stuff. He's coming out of nowhere all the time. Aurora Borealis at this time of day? Year? In this time? Oh, wait. <laughs> It's, <laughs> it's the reference. It is... How did he survive that many headshots? I mean, he looks pretty not alive already, so... I guess that would explain a lot. <laughs> Um, this thing is still not here. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh no, this is the dead end I died in before. Steamed hams? Yes. Maybe I'm supposed to run up here. No. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Bro! Bro! I'm climbing on you! I guess I'm just supposed to attack him until he dies. Sorry, Jacob. Kinda rude of us. Did you see we just walked on top of him? <laughs> Cabal, thank you for watching 40 streams in a streak. First try, definitely, definitely didn't die before. What the heck? What the heck? Do, 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 do. Yeah, it was in self-defense. That's what we can claim. Um, is this supposed to line up? Do, 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 do. Now it really reminds me of Riven. Oh! Do, 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 do. Tight the lid. Hmm, let's put the dagger on it. Familiar shape. Sure. Oh my gosh, I have to solve this like this? What are you saying, Emily? I can't hear you. I gotta go far here. Plop, plop, plop. That's it. They do it. We do it. Again, new cam! Actually, new camera, Kevin! Okay, we'll just switch around the, the outer ring until it lines up. That was apparently it. Are we falling into the... Oh no! Jacob, please! Are we inside of there? Oh no, we're not. Phew! I thought we were eating it! Into the void! Oh no! What's happening with his arms? Uh, Jacob? Bro! Your arms are so long! I don't mean to, like, talk smack, but, like, that's kind of cheating. Oh. 
Maybe I can use my flare. Oh look, he's on fire. I'm getting a lot of machine gun things. Oh, dagger! Wait, is that how easy he was to beat? Oh no, he yeah, has several... Several ups and downs. He cheating, he got long arms! I thought that was a Molotov. Why no Molotov slaying around here? Oh, stabby stab! Snake dagger! But, dear Emily, did you not read anything? We literally said you need to stab him in the eyeball, not in the heart. Shaking my head, Chad. We're aiming at the wrong things. Standard is so easy. Yeah, this doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel that... I think... It, if I get to choose difficulty... When playing as the other guy... I think I would... Oh, yeah, eyeball! I think I would like to... Pick hard. No! Oh, no. That's gonna hurt. Right into the chest? Here we go! Did we just fall out of the closet that we were in? Barnaby! after me you're in my head now in that case i hope you enjoy your stay Emily, stop! oh don't worry what we got you you're syringed again excuse me did we actually just kill yermi did we just kill yermi can't believe it That was close. Yeah, but but maybe Jeremy's dead now. We did stab him in the eyeball. That's not very good. He didn't look very alive. Maybe he did survive. Hi Grace, are you here to syringe us again? Are you alone? Or is he in there with you? Miss Hot, what is up? Heard you almost painted the foyer with your own blood and guts. <laughs> Are we a patient here as face. well? Stick around, will you? It's gonna be an exciting night. Are are we actually a patient the whole time? We weren't here investigating anything. This. No, that ruckus. A lot of gave you a healthy dose of that sleeping juice. Wasn't sure you'd be waking up again. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Tried to shoot yourself. Sorry for the manhandling, but we just wanted to save you. You also stabbed Jeremy in the eye. Is he okay? Is he all right? Mm, he's a little strange, but everything else is back to normal. Really? So he didn't die? I broke the pact? I don't know what you did, but it worked. Let's see you standing up, miss. It worked? How? In what way? What do you mean it worked? 
Oh, well, Jeremy's fine. Are you okay? I'm so sorry for hurting you. How can you ever forgive me? Emily, I missed you so. I do hope you'll stay with me for a while. Uncle, what's wrong? Is it anesthesia? He, he seems so meek. I wish that was the case. It turns out that you managed to lobotomize him. It's actually quite impressive, considering your technique. This is permanent? You sacrificed a piece of his mind to save the whole. It's a little like treating a bad knee by cutting off the leg. It's blunt, but it works. That's terrible. Perhaps. But at least he won't suffer anymore. Do you remember the dark man, Jeremy? Ah, yes. Where did he go? I hope he is doing all right. You see? With a violent stab, you make uh -oh. any future treatment quite redundant. Why is it so beautiful in the background? I assume you will be bringing him with you back to New Orleans. I will. I just need to find Detective Crowley. Oh no. Detective who? I thought he was gonna say, Detective who? You're here alone. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, it, right? It does sound like... Link kneels with dead. Okay, we're getting a lot of achievements. Did we beat the game? It said chapter 5. I'll be back soon, Jeremy. Then we'll go back to the city. How fun. I do like riding in the motor car. I got the achievement for aiming gun against a human. Wait, what? That's not what I meant to do. I was just zooming. I'm using aim as a zoom in. I don't mean to like aim at people. I'm using it as a zoom. I guess there is a zoom in button without aiming, but... Yeah, there is a dedicated zoom button, but not not most games don't have that. So I keep on using the the, the aiming. Did we get an achievement for? Lo yeah, I'm so sorry. Is this really what we were supposed to is do? Is there any chance he'll relapse back to his previous condition? None at all. He is forever cured from all worries and other difficult feelings. Look how cute this is in here. Do you see all them little lamps? Have you seen Detective Carnby? I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Poking and prodding. Doctor but, but Detective who is he find out that these are a cult? He's running a cult. I don't know. Emily reluctantly accepted the bittersweet end to her journey. Yeah. She had found Jeremy and brought him back to DeSetto. But at what cost? Partial blindness and permanent brain damage. Maybe it was for the best, she tried to tell herself. Jeremy did seem more docile, happier even. And whatever spell of insanity she had suffered herself, everything was finally set right. Yeah? It was time to find Detective Conby and head back to New Orleans. Do we think that... Do, do we really think that... Jeremy! Jeremy! <gasps> Ruth! Why well she have... done, Miss Hartwood. Does she you have the mask? You made Dorsetto the dullest place in existence again. Oh, thank you. Happy to be of service. <laughs> Wasn't that the mask that Grace made and it sh apparently looked like our father? Have you seen Detective Carnby anywhere? <laughs> Still chasing that lovable palooka around, are you? I'm sure you'll find him. Can I write to you when I get back to town? <laughs> you are too sweet, Miss Hartwood. I'll look forward to reading all about wow. your tedious routine. Wow, we're becoming pen pals, chat. Wing wonk. 
Okay, but so like okay, um What about the cult stuff? Hey, we didn't talk much. Good to see you're still with us, miss. Are you hungry? No, thank hungry. you. I'm still a bit woozy. Are you is that a cat stew? She's the one who made a mummified cat in the garden earlier. Ooh, is that gumbo? I make Whoa. it every year. We set up a little feast by the wishing tree and start a new year together. School transit by here. Have you seen Mr. Carnby? I haven't seen him for a while. Maybe he left. No. Oh, Mr. Gray had killed him, maybe. He knew he was snooping around. Stabbed our uncle or bottomized him, but hey, we made a new friend, so not all lost. <laughs> Yeah, gotta see the good things, you know? Oh, that's not Carnaby. This is the guy who turned himself into here to have a vacation. Do you know what's about to happen here? Just a little ceremony we do each year on the eve of St. John. We raise our glasses to the old wishing tree here and ask for a <gasps> year. They're sacrificing Carnaby in their cult ceremony. Is it all for show? Or do you actually believe the tree can help? Well, I guess some of us do. I mean, Lottie and Mags are pretty invested. Taking it a little too far, you know? Too far like what? Sounds like you might be in a cult. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can see how you think that. Sounds like you might be in a cult. Okay. Uh, Gris, how about you? Are you washing this tree? What are you doing? Preparing for the ceremony. Good night, I hope this you feel bad. She will come. I'm sure of it. You will come out of the tree? Night night, Michael! Kicking have a good sleep. <laughs> have a good sleep. <laughs> Take care. We'll catch you when we catch you. Maybe this weekend. If you wanna hang out, we know where to find us. A cl club. Yeah, you're in a club. Like we are in here, Chad, right? Clubs. Who's coming, Grace? The um, black goat of the woods. Uh, the mother of a thousand young. The what? The the uh I hope you find what you're looking for, Grace. Whatever it is that you need. That's a terrible thing to say. Sorry? I'm just gonna take a lap around the tree to check it out. Yep, nothing here. Okay. Hey, Lottie. Ha. Whatever happened to that woman, the, uh, Elisabetta? Is she still laying dead? Oh no! Don't wait for him. I almost forgot this was here. Very hard to settle, you know. Almost time to call on her. Who? Who? What is it that you do? Is it like the voodoo rituals you read about in the papers? I don't know, miss. I never saw one up close. My family has always been suspicious of the hoodoo. Oh, you haven't been part of one of these rituals before? You haven't seen Detective Carnby, have you? No. And I hope he stays away. I don't think he would understand what is about to happen here. But I shouldn't stay away? Stone free! What's up? The game is great. I'm having a fun time with it. Um, I'm having a really good time. I think it's nice. I would recommend it if you if you are if you think it's up your alley. Uh, also, Haggis, welcome in. Hello. Looks like a storm's coming. Radio says it could get real bad. Floodings and such. Oh no! Right when we're about to do the ceremony. With the cult and become sacrificed? Oh, oh. I should probably get moving before the weather gets worse. Have you seen Detective Carnby? Not for a while, but he says he's gonna wait for you. He did? 
Okay. I have never played the Final Fantasy, no. Take care of Batiste. Batiste, please. Too, Miss Emily. Please be my friend. If the cultists come and try to sacrifice me, can you be my friend, please? Okay, I, ho I hope Batiste and I are friends. He's like the first one we met. Okay. Just uh, gonna take a look at this beautiful tree. Mm hmm. Looking great. Thought we could have a better view. Can we not go upstairs? No. Hmm. Okay. This is where it all started. Where we broke into the house. Yeah. Yeah, we literally broke into it. Remember we were all alone and nobody was answering the door and we were like, hello, hello, and we had to break in? That was so weird. Like, nobody was anywhere to be found. Sorry, I just wanted a, this pretty look here. Yeezys! Thanks for coming in. Hi. So peeking in. Okay. I'm starting to think horror is a side effect of thunderstorms. Yeah, the, the two seems... Uh, Strangely correlated, eh? Okay, chat, here goes nothing! Is this the final end of the game? Or is it just another chat? No, we just started a new chapter. There is still more to go, I guess. Okay. But here goes... Whatever ritual. Let, let me do a save file. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. Let's do a save file and... Uh, let's go. Wait for Carnaby. Wait, 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 wait. There's still so much stuff that we haven't apparently done. Oh well. Wait for Carnby. Here we go. Everyone knows what to do. Y'all know the new words. The new Mrs. words? Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Are they more cultified than he is? Where is Carnby? Hell are there praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever there Ever praises, there praises, 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 praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us. 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 Or they're saying that. <laughs> what? You can grab her! She's just a child! Grab her! Go grab her! Get out, Emily. We're leaving. No, there has to be a number one. No. What? She's like, oh, I'm out of here. What? What? Are you see? Is he seeing that too? Is he seeing that too? What is happening? Is this not happening? What does this look like from Carnaby's perspective?
stop that thing. It's gonna kill everything in its way. What? What on earth just happened? It, it yeah, the, the, the genre of the game changed really quickly. From a mystery horror to a gory horror. Oh my gosh, is she just spiked on there? Oh my gosh. Yikes, Windflower. Hi, <laughs> thanks for coming in. Uh, okay, so... Uh, oh, hey, it's that one boss from Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, so, wait, but is this real then? Did this just happen? Does Carnaby know about this? Did he see this? Oh my god, I can't wait to play Carnaby's perspective. Oh no, I am so sorry, Lee. Lizzie? Lottie. Oh my gosh, look at that eyeball there. Suddenly gore. Oh my gosh, who, I don't even know who this is. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what a change of game. I can't even go past them. Oh, I can go here. Is that the rest of them? No, that's another person. Is that the leader? <gasps> no, who's? What the heck? Even in death, she's the, she's looking fabulous. <laughs> she's died and she hasn't even... She doesn't even look... None the difference. Our girlfriend! We were gonna be pen pals! Wait, where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to save the place, but I don't know where to go. This took such a turn, chat. I am at a loss for words. Oh, I see. I'm at a loss for words. That came out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, it was Baptiste. Okay. Um. Okay. Well. All right. So much for a happy ending, hey? Oh, it's very loud up here. What did you say, chat? What is that? I can't hear you. Wait, is this the same hurricane that is gonna take us and make us vanish? Like... The same way that the people who live the, in the... in here before the way they disappeared elisabetta oh no oh 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 no oh no oh no oh no oh no okay okay great you know what I get Resident Evil vibes. What on earth? Where am I supposed to shoot? Where is your weak spot? Does he have anything exposed? Should I shoot at it? Ow. Don't just shoot straight at it. Oh, it has little insects! I saw them! There! There! And now on the other side... Uh... And now there? I need to reload. Wait, hang on, wait a second. Oh no. Am I taking damage? I am. Okay, it's just one shot that's needed. Ow! Oh no, second face. Oh, it's got hairy legs. people coming out of it 
Uh-oh. Ah, you, you can't go over here. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's the little head crabs. Is it spitting these guys out? Should I deal with the big guy first? Crucifix weapon. Can I hold, hit it with a crucifix? I need to hit all of its little legs. Be gone, Belzebub. What? How do I? Is this a cross? Oh, it's never ending, really. It's not breaking. The crucifix doesn't break. No, no, I want the crucifix. This guy is not sensitive to... Fire. There's one guy on the floor still. Shoot his legs. Such a spread on this one. These dang unreloaded weapons. No, don't give her to more. Oh no, oh no. I'm out of healing. At just a moment. That that did so much damage. Just a mo just a moment. Oh, did I just die? Oh no, third face. Then we gotta shoot all of it. All of the remaining. Where the others come out. They're already out! The burstening is happening! Wait, let me... I just want to shoot in these little bladders. Ow! This is not good. This is not good at all. There is so many! There's no way. I have no healing chat. I think I'm dead now. Unless they give me heal somewhere randomly. Did I just rank? No, I didn't. That was really tough. I'm out of healing, but bullets are fine. The burdening is happening. Uh, Kubu King, thank you so much for resuming for a second time ever. Wow, happy two months. Welcome back. You never really stood a chance against an outer god. Yeah, is that what it is? This is an aliens? I think you do rank out of the grid skill part. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's what was strange. Thank you so much, Kubo King. Welcome in. We're in the middle of a boss fight. I think it's the final boss of the game. At least it's saved right here on the roof. Okay. So the bad thing is that apparently I took a lot of hits and that made my HP go down. I'm gonna reload all my weapons because that was a problem <laughs> fighting. And I don't know what I should focus on, honestly. But it didn't go too bad. We got like through... What was that? Base... Uh, 
Pace uh, to what? Three? Yeah, I feel like focusing on killing the tentacle monster could be a good thing. But I think we need to, at some certain points, deal with the other things. He didn't have blobs on him in the cutscene before, did he? I don't feel like I saw them last time. Um... These holes would not be nice for people with trypophobia. The way this boss looks. Is it too loud, chat, also? Would they just grow back? Ow. Excuse me. take this and we throw it at the burstening that was just one person I wanted to get them all let's just deal with them immediately as they come out so we don't have to worry about them later ow that was kind of rude it came out of nowhere did I only have one bullet Guys, I'm double shooting. Everything you do is uh, interrupting what you do. Choo -choo! I don't wish I had some more throwable objects that weren't. Stop! You cornering me! Fighting is really hard. Wait, I only have one bullet in the chamber? Well, that's why it's a bit of a problem. Oh, I have to. Epic music at least. I feel like I've run out of bullets very fast. is happening again is this a wait am I just supposed to shoot at all of these now I think I'm gonna run out of items I thought it was the burstening but it was it was when I was supposed to be shooting there I lost a little bit of time Maybe? Maybe if I'm fast I can get rid of the burstening? I'm out of bullets! Ah! So fast! Why does nothing have bullets in it? I 
I should maybe melee them. Wait, I don't have a melee weapon. Where did it go? Where did my melee weapon go? Okay, I'm just gonna take this one. Didn't I have one when I went in here the first time? Focus now. Ow! I don't have any more healing. This is really hard, chat. I'm really struggling. This is really hard. And we're not even playing on hard. Why am I struggling? This is really, really tough. Bane is there. Welcome in. Thank you for joining. It does feel like we're fighting a Resident Evil boss. Yeah, a little bit... It's not Yankee, but there is that Resident Evil feeling of like, it doesn't feel like you are in complete control, especially like when you're dodging. Like it's not, for example, Dark Souls 3 or Bloodborne. No, can you roll around in Bloodborne? It doesn't feel like that easy to like dodge kind of thing. I feel a bit clumsy. Does that make sense? That is one, he yeah, one mean creature. Sorry about this, chat. Apparently it's a bit of a strong enemy. <laughs> um, it's like Resident Evil and Dark Souls had a monster baby. Yeah, the boss itself, definitely. Okay, so apparently like I'm full HP. Nay, I'm full in my pockets. And then I try to bring drinks with me and that doesn't seem to work because I only have max five. Maximum five. I guess I gotta reload everything, but I feel like it didn't matter. I have so few bullets. What would be nice, actually, would be if um, if I was able to upgrade my stuff. That would be nice, I think. Can confirm it's pretty clunky, clumsy. Yeah, there is something that like it's not very smooth the combat. Look, I have a. A melee weapon now. Where did that go when I was downstairs? Oh my gosh, this is the mother giving birth to a thousand young. The thousand young is the small ones. <gasps> oh. And this is RNG because now it has spawned on the right side. See that? Machine guns, pistol bullets. So now we need to take this Molotov and turn around really slowly and shoot the burtonings as fast as possible. Because fighting like fighting only the big guy is kind of okay. As long as we don't have to dodge the small ones at the same time. Maybe the spraying and praying is working well for that. I'm out of bullets. I am. Can he, did he get hurt by his own mom? It's hard also because you can't dodge when you're re reloading. I stopped reloading. So we have to like wait it out. Ow! I was go running that whole time. Okay. 
I'm a little not so good at dodging. I need triple shug. Okay, and now it's time to shoot all of these. Epic music is so epic. Oh, there. Okay, third phase. Yay. That went a little faster this time. Woo, woo. It's a raid. It's a oh my gosh. Arma. Thank you for coming in. Arma, thank you for reading. Welcome, everybody. We're in the middle of a little bit of a fight. It's a little bit of a you know chaotic moment welcome hi readers how is this how was industria oi that one was so good the crucifix can lasted so long was the way he's acrobatic oh wait wait kindly wait kindly wait there's so many of them I'm trying to get the dang candlestick. No! Stop! Not fair! Yeah, how am I supposed to dodge that? Where did you come? Oh no, I'm stuck between everybody. I can't believe this is the intended way of playing the game. I mean the intended difficulty. It is so hard. Yeah, I was behind! Or oh, was it this guy? Please don't! Please don't! We can get up and get up! There's so many bubbles left and we're out of bullets. Did we do it? I think I saw a fight like this in one of the Resident Evil games. Yes, Arva. Very Resident Evil fight there. Thank you so much for building Arva. Welcome in, Riddlers, right into the, the fire. Did we really get him, though? Emily, are you all right? I don't understand anything that just happened. Yeah. What was that? What was that? The whole gang was a cult dedicated to something called the Black Goat of the Woods. What? I've been trying to gather as much information as I could. It was only after you started talking about monsters that I thought maybe there was some truth to all the nonsense I was finding. What? Where's Jeremy? Uncle, are you alright? Everything is out of order. Oh no. This isn't the way the story goes. Oh. I shouldn't be alive. Don't say that. Yeah, that's a goat you apparently we were out. fighting. We <laughs> okay. Arba, thank you for thinking about us. Also, you almost drank a some screw. What the heck? Oh no, Grace. Hey kid. You doing alright? Bro, did you not see it them? That wasn't what I expected. But you can't always get what you want. Was she did she want to get sacrificed? That thing was not a goat. Arba, I think you are right. I think you might be right. Uh, Saimar, thank right, you so much for coming back. back to New Orleans. Come on, Jeremy. Let's go. Can That's... I come? Don't leave her. You have to take her to Hell's Kitchen. The TV show? What on earth are you talking about? I'm 
so confused. But why did everybody stab us with syringes? Why did she stab us with syringes? I'm not sure if I trust this kid. I'm glad they didn't die, but like... She's been kind of... Sus. Oh, that's a reference to Alone in the Dark 2? <gasps> what? Do you think they're gonna remake the second one as well? Yo! We did it! Um, that's the title of a god from the Lovecraft... Lovecraft my missiles? <laughs> Dang. That was final boss fight, Ara. Where are the goats? Oh, I'm on top of the alerts. Yay! Wow, I can't believe it. A burning goat is our burning goat alert. Oh, do you hear this voice? But I still have so many questions. I guess we will get them when we play as the other guy. Uh, Arva, thank you again. I'm so sorry you came in like you raided in during a very chaotic in the middle of the boss fight, but we had been trying a couple of tries and it was very close to the end there, so but we did it! Maybe you brought the luck, Arva. You brought the winning luck. Thank you for bringing your people over also and welcome in. Sorry if anybody got like spoiled, but this game has two different endings, two different characters you can play as and we've only played one. Uh, Trishikori, thank you for the 666 bits. Also, Tori, you thank you for gifting a sub to Saimaringes... Ring... Ringed? Saimaring... Okay, I don't know how to... Wait, is this... Ringed seal? Oh, it's the seal! Seal, enjoy the emotes. Here we go. Cast, here we go. Starring David and Yodi. David and Yodi. Enjoy the emotes, uh, Teal. En enjoy. Thanks for coming by. Cursed Soul. Ah! Your first ever sub? Wait, to this channel, you mean? Or do you mean on Twitch ever? Um, no, I did not play as Hooper yet. <laughs> so, I, uh, this is my first pick. I've, I've not played as Hooper. So we still have the entire storyline of him left to play. And I presume we're getting maybe some answers then. Because this was so weird. Because she was just going through this whole thing, fighting the demons of, of, of Jeremy. And then suddenly he was like, Yo bro, there is a cult here. <laughs> right? It's a little bit strange playing with the main character of the series first i didn't know what you were supposed to start with elish because she was the one that came up first like she was to the left and then he stood to the right when we got to choose character and she also said oh hey do you want to come with me i have a family history to uh, go through so like i thought it was revolving around her the whole story I think Emily's the main character? I don't know. It, it, I think it felt like it. Because it was related to her. I'm also confused about like the whole thing. What about... Did they just happen to live in the neighborhood? And that's why both of her, her husband and her uncle went to, ended up there? Or like... What's up with that? And why is everybody talking about our dad in weird ways? Like, oi, this mask. Grace made a mask that looked like our dad. What was up with that? And why did Grace stab us with a syringe? I know that later they stabbed us with a syringe when we when when like to stop her from shooting herself, but also He didn't do that early. Like it wasn't she just randomly stabbed us with a syringe. Was that just like Grace doing things that she has seen the others do? Was was Grace always just acting out like things she had seen or heard the others say? So weird. I have so many questions. And I'm thinking we're gonna get an answer. Uh, if we play through the other- Oh my gosh, look at the Demogorgon in the sky! <gasps> I don't think- Was that always there? That- That's- That was- No, not the Demogorgon. The Mind Flayer. What was that? I don't know if there was anything in the syringe. It was empty when we saw it on the ground, but she said, was there anything in it? She, she was like, we don't- Is there anything in here? So each campaign has different questions and answers. So the other one will be completely disconnected from this. And we will still have questions then. I... Yeah. I have questions. I think things will be... Like... 
I think it would be cool to see this from his perspective. To see like her come and go. And I'm excited for his because I do like a good mystery in the investigation. The, the things that he has been doing that we've seen him do looks cool and it would be cool to to kind of go through everything i don't know if it is spoiled by knowing that there is a cut in the end but i don't think so i i think it's gonna be cool to go through his side of it and see um, see what he's up to i do like investigating like that injecting air is dangerous yeah exactly so well, so what was that about? Or did she just like stick it in but not like push down the thing? She just like give us a needle stick? It did seem like the person I'd choose first too with a family connection. Exactly, yeah. Hmm. Pierre Pepperling. <laughs> See that the name? What a name. Um But this was great! Wow! Are you saying that this is very different than from the from the main game? Motion capture. Ooh. Stunts. Cool. Um, does it set up a sequel? I mean, if they if they said there is a sequel to the original, right? And well, the, apparently the Hell's Kitchen mention was a, a, a reference to the second one. Maybe they were going to make a remake of the second one. Depending on his, how this one goes, I guess. I guess you don't want to make a remake of all of them at once, but you want to start out with one. Will people catch on to this? Um, are people going to grab it? And then you continue and get... Continue and get more... Um, make more remakes, as you see, if, if people are... If the audience craves it. But I really did enjoy this. This was really good. Cool. We're not done with the game. Uh, we're we're, we're going to play through the entire... This took us four streams, didn't it? To play through her story. Are they equally long? I presume it's going to go faster playing as him because we are a little more familiar with the game. And how things work, maybe? Yeah, almost 15 hours of playtime. That's quite a long time, but that's what the game, how long to beat said. On the other hand, I don't know if how long to beat is counting one person playthrough or if they count both. I feel like they should count one because you reach the end. Right? Like playing, basically we're starting a new game now when we're going to start as, as him, right? Excellent atmosphere to the game. Really enjoyed it so far. Yeah, me too. What a fun game. It really took some twists though. Twists and turns. And I'm very like, what? What? <laughs> so many uh, uh, shocking moments. A lot of the time things just like felt... I don't know. It felt like things just... It was very trippy. But then again, of course, that's the probably what will happen when you play... As Emily and Emily side, like, since it's a, that was a lot more like mind focused and like how, um, how like her past haunted her with her husband and everything that there, but also Jeremy. I am a little confused because Jeremy was also like, oh no, this is not how it's supposed to end, blah blah blah. But how is the ending gonna be when I play as Hopper? Is he just gonna be like, oh no, the tree is coming alive! Jeremy, come here! And then he just grabs Jeremy and then he goes outside. And then we see the tree burn because Emily did that whole boss fight. Like, do we not have to fight a boss when we lose him? That's gonna be interesting to see. Completionist says 19 and a half hours on this now. Oh, really? Okay. Gosh, I really hope we didn't miss any collectibles, but I'm sure we did. <laughs> I'm sure we did, but I'm excited to like continue building on on the things. Don't overthink it, I guess. Yeah, maybe I'm overthinking things. Maybe I'm putting too much into all the little things that happen. But I still have so many questions. Seventeen, I hope you're well. Also, your moments badge looks so nice. It's so shiny, it's sparkle. I wish we get moments backs again. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, hard to talisman puzzles. <laughs> no. Hopefully, well, now that we know how the talisman works, it should be fine, but I don't think he's going to have a talisman. 
Uh, now that we've achieved the end, one piece of lore that might help you understand. Wait, wait, wait. Is that gonna be a spoiler for the next guy? Ni al ni arla so tep. Ni arla so tep. Did they mention that person? It's the elder god of prophecy and dreams. Oh, he generally tries to help humanity, but help is always weird when you're talking about early goals. Right, okay. I guess we're gonna learn more about the cult part when we play as him, though. So we will understand what the heck was going on with that tree and what, why they were talking about the tree and... Or why it came to life and why they were sacrificing the kid to it. I think we're gonna be learning some more about that, I guess, through that. Wow, what a nice king chat! I can't wait to play as Hopper! But um, I do think that maybe it would be best for us to start fresh with that. Um, maybe? Maybe that's something best, best done freshly? Best done freshly? Uh, maybe? What do you say? What do you think? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna be... Um... Oh, this was the la- No, la next stream. <sighs> next stream will be um, in... Uh... We will time travel on stream next stream on Saturday because the Europe is catching up to America with the summertime. So... Yay! Fast travel on stream! Uh, finally, the stream times will not be as different as they have been these past... Um, this past uh, couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, like we time traveling Whee! game. Whee! Chrisanne, thank you for the 3 two, one beats. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's best to wrap it up here. And uh, because I have some stuff to do, we did start the stream very late today. So it's still very late uh, on the time. You want to add to your extra things that you find, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we're, so we're gonna we're gonna continue this next stream. We're gonna start a new game. We're gonna play as Hopper or Mr. Carnaby, and uh, Carnaby, and we will go um, through the game. And it will probably go much faster now that we're familiar with everything. But we we um, maybe maybe we'll take three streams instead of four. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I guess the streams will be an hour later for me. Uh, no, an hour earlier for you, Radioactive. Because we travel in time. F Wait. Yeah, I travel forward. Meaning that it's going to be starting time. Uh, for me. Earlier than it is now. Time travel is confusing, it is indeed. Uh, okay, speaking of this wonderful saxophone music chat, let's go ri raid a fantastic saxophone streamer. That's right. We've been listening to this awesome music for... Uh, this. The soundtrack of this game has been amazing. Um, so we're going to go say hi to uh, somebody who can maybe continue with uh, the saxophone time. Um... We met uh, a few weeks ago during the talent show at Nurse Huckleberry's stream. Uh, she's called Macdudo, also a fa fellow guildy, and she plays. She's a music streamer. She does uh, a lot of uh, saxophone, but also knows how to play other instruments as well. So uh, let's go see. Hi. Um, thank you so much for having been here. Oh shoot, you did it for me. Okay, I was using my keyboard, but. You were faster than my keyboard. Thank you. Um, <sighs> Whoopi! We don't usually get the chance to raid her also because she starts like a little bit after we end. But because America and Europe is not synced at the moment, we have a chance. So let's go say hi! Let's go snipe the chance while we have it. Let's go listen to some awesome um, saxophone music, shall we? Yeah, she just started. So we usually don't get a chance to raid, but during the summertime... Um, think we are able to do so thank you so much for being here everybody thank you for being here for emily's uh, chapters emily, emily playthrough if you want to see more alone in the dark we're gonna continue this next stream which is not tomorrow but on saturday we're gonna be continuing and we're gonna be playing a fresh new playthrough of uh, hopper since we haven't done his side yet so uh, we still have half of the game to go 
exciting thank you if you've been lurking thank you if you've been chatting thank you for all the subs and the subs and the bits and uh and if anybody came by new thank you for joining us um thank you if you've been watching on youtube thank you mods for modding thanks for the red arva thank you for the red um i think that did i miss anybody who rated no, Arva, thank you for the raid. Um, thank you all of you for hanging out tonight. Thank you so much. Um, I had a blast. Grab a red message. Let's go say hi to McDoodle. And uh, listen to some saxophone music in a little bit. And um, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. You're the best. Have a wonderful Friday. I'll see you Saturday. Stay Pokemon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>